Hi there, it's Kendall Gray again. I'm answering some more questions about whales today. And I'm gonna start with Brenda. She says she wants to know how fast do whales swim? I guess it really depends on the kind of whale. Um, the gray whales that live off the Pacific coast go about 11 miles an hour. Humpbacks that we see here go up to about 17 miles an hour. And then you get some of the faster whales like blues, orcas, and fin whales that can go up to 30 miles an hour. Um, the fin whales that we see here are the second largest animals in the world. And to imagine that they go 35 miles an hour is pretty incredible for their size. They can be like 75 feet long, so they're pretty big. Um, another question she asks was, do they surface a lot? And the answer is, it depends on the whale again. So um, the average humpback whale can surface, it, it can take a breath anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes. They can hold their breath longer if they need to. Um, and then you have the opposite end of the spe spectrum, which is sperm whales. Those guys can hold their breath for almost two hours. They go down a mile deep in the ocean, and that's where they find their prey, which is giant squid and octopus. Um, I have some other things that I want to show you today. Um, I've been taking some video out here in Gloucester, off the coast of Provincetown, actually. And the first video I'm going to show you is two whales going down on a double, they're diving down, fluking up, and you get to see how cool it looks when the two of them do it at the same time. It's a simultaneous fluke. Check this one out. Next up, we have a close-up of a humpback whale fluking up to go down on a dive. And the reason that they fluke up, wh why you see their tails when they go down, is because they're positively buoyant, which means that they naturally float. And in order for them to take a deep dive, they need a little extra push with the tail. And that's why you'll see those tails come up, and they look so cool when they do that. Um, a lot of other whales don't have to do that, like fin whales and minke whales that we see out here don't have to fluke up because they're negatively buoyant. They can just kind of sink into the water and d go on their dive from there. So check this one out too, it's pretty neat. This next segment is a humpback whale peck slapping, it's where he takes his pectoral fins, which can be up to 15 feet long, and he slaps them on the water. Um, we think it's a way for them to communicate with each other. We're not really sure, but the sound is like a gunshot. It's that loud. You figure a 15 foot long, one ton flipper smack in the water is going to make a very loud sound, and sound travels faster through water. So we think that there may be some communication thing going on when they do this. Not sure if it's like a warning or if it's just, hey, here I am or whatever, but this is also pretty neat to see. And then you get to see the two, two whales fluking up here in this one too. And this last clip I say for, for last because it's kind of the coolest one I have here. It's a humpback whale breaching and this is where the humpback flicks its tail two or three times under the water and propels its entire 40-50 ton body out of the water. Um, this is something you don't get to see very often and I was lucky enough to catch it on film yesterday. So um, again we're not sure why they do it. It's probably again a communication thing. Um, yesterday I also saw on the water a whale to the right that breached and then a few seconds later, a whale far, far off on the left breached like as a response. And this continued, went back and forth, back and forth, the breaching. So again, we think that there's probably some, this is some kind of a communication thing between the whales. We have no idea what they're saying or what it all means, but it's amazing to watch. So enjoy this last clip and I'll catch up with you again, hopefully tomorrow.